keep it nice and clean Not freak out and cause a scene I try to hold it together Keep it together Not sure who I really am Just be cute and super bland I try to hold it Hey you guys, good morning happy i don't even know what day y'all are going to be seeing this but it is friday where i'm at and it is the day before fourth of july so i'm going to show you guys a full day of eating keto i am still not intermittent fasting just yet i plan to be picking that up here at the end of my cycle here so you guys will be seeing those again um for wednesday's video but I thought I would just throw in like a little fun video for you guys today. Uh, drop down in the comments and let me know what you guys did for the 4th. If this goes up after the 4th of July, how your 4th was, how your holiday was. What did y'all do to celebrate? Because everything is canceled here where I live. So there's no fireworks shows. There's nothing like that. So I think we're just going to chill. But we did pick up a lot of good food. Um, we're going to be having like a little mini barbecue here at home today. It is like cold and rainy where i live like gloomy outside <laughs> looks really ugly but our backyard looks green so hey we can't complain i'm gonna go ahead um y'all saw that i had my um pre-workout this morning and i did go ahead and get my workout in it is 9 17 right now and i'm gonna go and take a shower and get ready but i'm gonna have a scoop of this this is the iso pure vanilla salted caramel protein powder actually one of you guys in the comments recommended this brand to me so i went ahead and picked this up i'll have this link down below i've had this stuff y'all with just water and it is actually really good in my blender bottle here so a scoop of this is zero carbs 25 grams of protein 100 calories um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and have a scoop of this and i'll check you guys next time i eat all right you guys time right now is 12 40 p.m and i'm getting ready to have my first meal i just got two pieces of bacon and two eggs i just fried them up in a little bit of olive oil seasoned with salt pepper garlic powder pretty basic I was gonna have some avocado, but I'm just not really feeling it right now. And the avocado I do have is frozen, so I'm gonna munch on this. Hey guys, so it's like two o'clock right now and I'm getting ready to make a little coffee because I'm feeling, you know, just like I need a caffeine boost. So I'm just gonna do um, some of this Starbucks cold brew concentrate. I picked this stuff up at Costco. Um, it came in a two pack and it says that there is like eight servings in each one, but I actually, like it's lasted me a while so i'm gonna pick some more up because i like these too um whenever i like run out of my pods or whatever they're good in the fridge for two weeks so this is like really awesome um and then i'm gonna do a scoop of my salted caramel collagen perfect keto and then i'm also gonna do just a little bit of um like a dash of heavy whipping cream i just love the way that heavy whipping cream makes my coffee taste it makes it taste like really creamy I'm gonna take my little whisk here and just blend this all together. I actually think I'm gonna add like a dash of MCT oil as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that really quickly. Okay, so this is the brand of MCT oil that I got. Um, I honestly don't even remember where I got this from. I'll try and find it. It's by Nature's Way. So I'll try and find a link and have it linked down below for you guys. This is the MCT oil. So it's medium chain triglycerides. And this is like the highest premium form of coconut um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do like I try and do like a tablespoon and I just eyeball it but you can go a little heavy with it so just be weary of that and you're gonna want to use like a hand whisk like a blender to really emulsify that oil otherwise it's just gonna sit on top of your coffee and it's gonna be really nasty so you're not gonna reap the benefits so blending it for like a minute or so really helps to get all the good stuff nice and blended. This is really good. Okay, you guys, real quick, I'm feeling a little hungry, so I'm going to have a serving of this Too Good Vanilla Yogurt. I absolutely love this yogurt. It's the best stuff ever, and I'm gonna top it with, um, so a serving of this granola is half a cup, and I'm gonna, make it even less than that i'm probably going to do like a fourth of a cup of this grain free granola you guys this stuff is so good i got it at costco it's nature's path um grain free granola in the caramel pecan flavor oh so freaking good 
There is six grams of net carbs per serving, but I'm gonna half that, so there's only gonna be about three grams of carbs per serving, and I love this stuff so much. So that is what I'm gonna have for a little snack, and then I'm getting ready to prepare dinner for tonight, so I'm gonna show you guys what we're having for our 4th of July barbecue. Okay guys, so the recipe that I'm gonna be making to go with our dinner is this um, keto cauliflower like potato salad. It's a mock potato salad. And what you're gonna need for this is you're gonna need a small head of cauliflower just chopped into like bite-sized pieces. I cut off a lot of the stock too. Um, you're gonna need a pickle, some red onion, and then for the sauce, you're gonna need salt, pepper, apple cider vinegar, Dijon mustard, mayo, um, celery salt, and dill weed. And I will leave this recipe link down below for you guys, but we're just gonna follow the recipe really quick. And we're gonna start by putting all of um, the cauliflower in a bowl, a microwave safe bowl, and microwaving it for about eight minutes or until it's tender. You don't wanna boil this because you don't want it to have too much water. So I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so we're gonna need three fourths of a cup of mayonnaise. I am almost out of mayonnaise. I need to get some more. Um, you're gonna wanna mix the sauce up and get everything ready to go for when the cauliflower comes out of the microwave. It's not quite, that's more like half of a cup, but we're just gonna use what we got. We're gonna add the pickles here. Put the onion in. This is like a really weird angle, so I apologize, you guys. We're going to be adding this Dijon mustard, just like two teaspoons. A little bit more, I like mustard. Um, we're gonna be adding a tablespoon of uh, apple cider vinegar. That's just gonna be three capfuls. Little tip there if you don't have a tablespoon. What, baby? I'm just making dinner. We're gonna do some celery salt. What stuff? Some dill weed. What stuff? What do you see? I see glue. You see glue? Where? Um, and then, of course, we're going to do some salt and pepper. Oh my gosh, you guys, I almost forgot about my eggs. So I did boil up some eggs. You're gonna wanna add three hard boiled eggs as well. Yeah. All right. So I'm just gonna... You're supposed to add the cauliflower like while it's still warm to this mixture. So I'm just gonna finish dicing up these eggs and pop these in. I didn't have any water in mine, which, but they are soft. I'm feeling them, it's soft. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pour these in here. Wow, they really did not release like any moisture. And then you're just gonna mix it all together. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna be making is a keto coleslaw. So I've got a bag of this Fresh Express coleslaw mix here. If you didn't wanna use this, you could use like red cabbage and like broccoli slaw or something, but this is just what we had at our store. Um, I'm gonna be using some sour cream. This recipe does call for mayo, but I don't have any more mayo. I'll have the recipe linked down below for you guys. It also calls for lime juice, but YOLO, I'm using lemon juice. And it calls for a sugar substitute, and it calls for monk fruit sweetener, but I don't have monk fruit, so I'm gonna use swirl because I enjoy swerve. And then over here, I've got a little bit more red onion, some cilantro parsley mix, and a little bit of red bell pepper. And I'm basically gonna pour everything into this bowl and just mix it all together and chill it. And that is going to be my keto coleslaw. Anyways, I'm sorry I was interrupted uh, about this. It needed more than just the sour cream, but I did not have any more mayonnaise. So I made the choice to try and put a little bit of this too good yogurt in. However, this is not the unflavored. This is the vanilla. Greek yogurt would have been amazing in here had it not been vanilla. It's still really good. It's just I can kind of taste that hint of vanilla, which is kind of throwing me off. But if you had regular Greek vanilla yogurt or like plain, you know, or mayonnaise, this is bomb. It tastes just like the real thing, like so good. And I honestly cannot tell a difference and it's keto friendly. So I love that. And I also did not use the whole bag. I only used half a bag because I know if I use the whole bag, that would be totally wasteful. It's just me and Taylor and Novali and probably TJ gonna eat this. So yeah, I'll, 
I'll go back and show you guys everything. I did just want to talk about, um, we picked up a slab of ribs. So we got these ribs and they had given us this barbecue sauce, but I'm not going to use that barbecue sauce. I'm going to show you what barbecue sauce I'm going to be using instead. But the ribs were already smoked and cooked for us. All we had to do was go and pick it up. So this was an awesome, awesome deal. Super happy about that. Okay, you guys, this is the barbecue sauce that I'm going to be using on my ribs instead. It is the G. Hughes Smokehouse Sugar-Free Barbecue Sauce. Okay, so the stats on this are pretty good. There is 2 grams of carbs per 2 tablespoons and only 10 calories. So this is the sauce that I'm going to be using, and I did pick this up at my local um, Safeway, which is the grocery store we have here, and they had a ton of different flavors. I picked up the maple brown flavor. Um, so yeah, I've had this stuff before and I've also had their sugar-free teriyaki marinade. This stuff is really good So make sure that you guys check this out Okay, so here we got the ribs and they're all sauced up this little section over here is mine And then the rest of this got the regular barbecue sauce I got some mashed potatoes for these guys and then here we've got the coleslaw and uh, the potato salad, so That is what we got all right guys, so we've reached the end of the day. It is 7.45 right now. I'm getting ready to do some work in my garage and I'm going to eat this sugar-free pudding cup. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Please make sure that you hit that red subscribe button and the little bell notification so that you don't miss any more upcoming videos from me. I do these videos every single week on my channel. I have a What I Eat Wednesday video coming up every Wednesday, so you can definitely expect to see more videos like this from me. And if you have any video requests or things that you would like to to see make sure to drop those down in the comments for me guys so i'll see y'all in the next one bye